Okay, hi everyone. Uh, here is a, another interesting tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to model a laundry basket. And to create this pattern, it's, you need to use a special technique. And I'm going to show you that today. Yeah, with this technique, all the holes are cut normal to the surface all the way around and this the distance between each cut is the same all right let's go ahead and save this one and create a new i'll close this one off and make a new file so i'll name it laundry basket and i'm going to use my own units i'll pick millimeters all right, let's get started. We'll start with the basic shape, create an extrusion on this plane. And just we'll use an ellipse to create the basic shape. And let's make it about Okay, let's make it a bit wider, make it about that much and click OK, extrude it up and we can use a taper option to create the angle. Just put a bit of angle, about 20 degrees. So in options, click add taper, click add that angle and I'm not going to make that too tall. Make it a, I'll make the height 160 and one last thing is make it a surface and cap it on, put the cap on. So it's a blue color, this is a surface and I'm going to open the top surface by trimming it off. Okay, how do you trim this off? Uh, click remove here and click, make sure you turn on leave open and you can remove that top surface there and i'll also add a round on the bottom here and make it about 17. Alright, there you go. And also I'm going to add a little lip, a round lip on this top surface here. We can do that with a, what can I do with it? Uh, sweep. Hmm. Yeah, I think it was a sweep. And to create a sweep, sweep we will need to select a trajectory and make sure you tap right click to select the, the whole oval shape and we'll do a sketch flatten out by clicking there and we're going to use an arc okay so arc from here to here And we just make sure it's tangent. Click on here, click on here. Okay, and what else? I need to make this point connect with this point. Alright, that seems to be working. Let's try that again. So, Arc tool. Alright, there you go. It's tangent now. And I'll just accept that and it will sweep around with that tangent on there. Accept. Okay, we have our basket and I'll merge this surface with this. Click merge 
and merge them all together as one piece. And I'll use the thicken command to add a thickness to that. Just make it about maybe three mil. All right, yeah, the size is not definite. It's just a quick dimension, so I'll make that about two actually. And accept that. All right, the next step we're gonna start working on how to create the pattern. It's a custom pattern. It's we're not gonna use the pattern tool. First thing is I'll create a plane. Okay, so we're gonna have the first row, two only two rows of holes. First one I'm gonna make it one ten, and just do another set. Actually, we'll just all right. We're gonna do another set. We will be only doing one rows of hole today to save everyone the time. Click OK. All right, next we'll, we'll just hide the bottom plane. All right, we'll click the first plane and the first surface will create an inter intersection. All right, so it creates an intersection. Actually, make sure you select the surface all the way around and click accept. accept. So we have an intersecting curve on the inside here. And what we need to do is to create the pan, we'll use a pattern of point to click on points tool here and select this curve. Tap right click, make sure you select the whole curve and make sure you don't put on the end and put in here 0 0.02 to a distant amount of distance. And we're going to use that distance to create a offset all the way around. I'll click OK and make sure I turn on my points axis so I can see my points now. And with the point selected, and we're going to use pattern and we're going to create a dimension pan where you select this dimension and I'll set the spacing of 0 0.04 and it creates a number of patterns. I'm going to create a 24 repeating pattern, actually 25 to make it all the way around. 25 times 4 is 100 so it repeats perfectly around and it looks about right and we have this going, this point going all the way around. Alright next step to make it the cut perpendicular we need to use an axis. Make the axis um, connecting to this point and perpen normal, normal to this surface. And we're going to go to display to make it shorter. So this axis here is always normal to the surface and connects to that point. We're going to click OK. All right, next step we need to, I'm um, going to use a sweep to create a cut, but this is an axis we can't really um, use axis. We need to draw a a datum line. To do that datum line, we need two points. Uh, okay, this one's important. To put this second point on um, on here, and make sure it's um, there's a reference. It needs to go somewhere. It's it's not attaching to anywhere at the moment. What we need to do is when we create this point, we need to click click on this point and click on this line, so it's offset on the line to the other point, and just drag the point around, make an offset of about forty, and we're gonna click OK. All right, there you go. We can go ahead and make a curve through point, and we'll make this a a datum line here. And one more thing we need to do is actually create a X direction line. To do that, we're going to use the X axis. Yeah, we need to create an X direction line just to you need it to do create to create this way properly. So we'll click the axis and click on this point and click on the surface. Oh, actually, no, no. 
click on this point click on this plane and make it um, actually click on this let's remove this click on this Okay, let me try that again. So, click on axis, click on this. Alright, let me pause and check this one. Alright, with this part, you need to click on axis, click on this curve. and then click on this point so and we'll adjust that to make it shorter all right there you go that's great so what we're gonna do we're gonna pattern that across um we're gonna group all these together and then we'll pattern that because it's base, we it's creating a reference pattern. We have a, a number of points pattern around already. If you create another pattern after that, it will just repeat that technique. And there you go. We created a um, all that pattern around. Um, the reason I group all that together because it makes it pattern in the same techniques and it also avoids some areas as well so sometimes grouping the features together will make it work all right last step is to create a sweep and make a cut on there we're going to make a sweep onto that curve and we need to select the x direction the x direction is this line here where we created the axis it's just a horizontal line Basing based on the cross section, so once we have that, we can go ahead and draw the the cross section cut, and I'll just draw an ellipse here. You can draw any shapes you like. And let's make this forty two by twenty twenty two accept that click OK and we just want to make sure we drag this box so it cuts all the way through and we're going to go remove material click OK and then just click pattern do a reference pattern all the way around and sometime it fails to fix this you will need to just go in edit the definition just switch to a surface and just look around check if there's any problem and then switch it back to a solid cut and there's an error here you might want to adjust this cut distance let's move this shorter just play around with it and it should work fine Just maybe check the oval shape. Oh, one second. All right, there you go. I just modify some of the dimension, and the pattern is fixed. Uh, it seems there's a complex surface in here. But uh, anyways, there. Yeah, just play one around with the features. Adjust some some dimensions, and it should work fine. Alright, there you go. That's how you do it. And you can go ahead and create as many rows of holes as you like and add a color. And we're done.
Let me know if you have any questions. And you can hide these curves by putting them putting them on a layer. There you go. Have a great day. See you later and happy new year.